Welcome back to Never Enough Novels. Today I'm sharing my recent book haul, which includes a bunch of book mail and some books that I purchased myself over the past two weeks. All of the books are linked down below so you can grab these from Amazon if they sound interesting. And while you're at it, that supports my channel, so thank you for your help. Also make sure you hit like and subscribe so you can see more of these videos in the future. First up is a book mail that I got from TLC Book Tours, and this one is called Love Story, and it's by Lindsay Kelk. I cannot get over how gorgeous this cover is. I love the colors and like for an advanced reader copy, it's actually beautiful the whole way around. This one comes out in mid-September and features a small town school teacher and a big time creative director in the publishing industry. I'm so excited to read this because it celebrates romance novels and the authors who write them. Our main character, that school teacher, is actually hiding the fact that she's S.D. Cox, who is this mysterious but incredibly popular romance author. So that creative director that I mentioned before ends up discovering her secret and the two work together to try and maintain her secret identity. But they do not get off to a good start. So sparks flying, but not in a good way. They end up at this cottage, like this remote cottage by themselves and all these other crazy things happen and it's kind of like a one bed scenario. So we've got a couple different tropes that sound really fun in this one. Next up is The Game Changer by Lana Ferguson. So I read one of her other books, The Nanny, and absolutely loved it. So I'm excited to see how she tackles a hockey romance. I actually bought this one from Pango Books, which you, if you haven't heard of it, is one of my all-time favorite bookish apps. It basically connects this community of readers and lets people buy and sell their used books. So I've used it both as a buyer and a seller. On the buying side, I found the selection of books is fantastic. And since it's all fellow readers, people are, are really honest about like the condition of their books. I mean, this one is like pristine. It looks brand new. And they're also very careful about how they package it. So you're pretty much guaranteed to get a book in good condition and that will be taken care of in the mail on its way to you. And then on the flip side, it's a great way to make a little bit of extra money on the books that I've already read and don't need anymore. Selling books is extremely easy. You just take a picture of the book, post it in the app, add a few details, and then Pango Books just takes like a 20% commission off the top and that's it. So if you haven't tried it before, I highly recommend Pango Books as a way to either find new books or sell some of the books that you're looking to get rid of. But back to the game changer, um, not only is this a hockey romance, the female main character is also a baker. Be still my heart. Delilah is well known in town for her baking show, but she's looking for a way to spice things up a bit and draw in some new viewers. And since her brother is on the local hockey team, she pitches the idea to collaborate with them. But little does she know that the team ends up having one specific player in mind. Ian Chase has just gone through a very nasty, very public breakup, and he's in need of a little positive PR. Once these two start baking together on TV, their reaction is instantaneous, the public absolutely loves them, and start shipping their romance. But these two quickly need to figure out what's real between them and what's just making good TV. I can't wait to dive in this one, and it already came out this summer, so you can start reading now if you're interested. The next book I picked up at a cute little local bookstore that we discovered, and that's Norse Mythology by Neil Gammon. This is only $7 for this book. Um, it's in beautiful condition, and I love that it has these like beveled, beveled edges, is that what it's called? Um, but it looks really cool on this type of book, especially for like the topic. It, it feels fitting with these type of ancient stories. I've read and loved a few of Neil Gammon's books, like Stardust and Coraline, and I've been kind of slowly working my way through more of his backlist. And I'll admit this one specifically intrigued me even more after reading Danielle Jensen's romantic book, A Fate Inked in Blood, um, because hers is like a Norse-based romantic, plus obviously with the Thor movies, like everyone's interested in his story and Loki and what happens to Asgard. So each chapter in this book is basically a retelling of a different tale. It starts with like, the creation of the nine worlds and then gets into all these different stories about dwarves and giants and obviously Odin and Thor and Loki and everything that they get up to. He stays true to the origin of these Norse mythology tales, but he also had his own spin, so it makes it a really uniquely readable collection of stories. And finally, we've got another holiday romance, which makes me so excited. This one is A Winter Wish by Emily Stone. Emily Stone's holiday books are always a favorite of mine. Um, they're pretty unique in the fact that the characters are usually going through some sort of like grief or hardship. So she's tackling these difficult topics, but always manages to make the overall story very uplifting and full of hope and love. They're definitely different from like your typical holiday romance book. And while I do adore those type as well, sometimes it's nice to kind of read a holiday romance that has a little bit more depth. 
And this one, A Winter Wish, is no exception for Emily. So it begins when our main character discovers her father has died. She's had a complicated relationship, to say the least, and ended up barely speaking to him over the past 10 years. But upon his death, she discovers that she has been gifted one half of her father's successful holiday travel business. But the other half went to his hotshot young executive, Theo. And according to the will, they are forced to run the company together for a full year. She's basically planning to gut this out just for the next 365 days and then leave it all behind. But as she gets to know more about the company and the people who work there, she discovers her father's mission for this business actually aligns pretty well with her own personality. And she also comes to realize that Theo might not be the absolute worst person in the world as she had expected. So if you're looking for a holiday romance with a bit more depth, uh, give this one a shot. It comes out in October. This was such a fun collection of books from the past two weeks, so I'm excited to dive into them. If you wanna see more book mail that I received, you can head to this video here and make sure you like and subscribe to see more of these videos overall.